Hey everyone, this is Charlie and you're watching The Burrow. So the other day I was watching Juicy Ink's channel and she was doing like a 10 minute drawing challenge and I can barely draw a stick figure. So of course I'm not going to attempt to do that today, but I thought it would be fun to do something really similar and see if I can't come up with a short piece of fiction in just about 10 minutes. Now, uh, the big problem for me when I was thinking about this a few days ago was like a theme that I could sort of accomplish in 10 minutes and I couldn't really come up to any come up with anything. So I asked Emily, of course, my partner in crime here on the channel, and she recommended horses to me. Emily, I'm sorry I made fun of you for, for recommending uh, horses to me as a theme. Um, so I'm going to try that today. So without, without worrying about it too much, talking about it too much, I want to get into it. But um, of course, my goal today, right, is not to just come up with like the beginning of, of, of a piece of fiction, but I would like to actually maybe get a fully fleshed out piece of microfiction. I don't know if that's possible or not, but anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to give it a try um, and I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to take and write by hand today, um, just because it's, I don't know, I don't like writing on the computer all the time. But um, anyhow, yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get going. We're gonna go on our brand new notebook with what I'm sure is perfect French from the Japanese, uh, basically a dollar store. And uh, yeah, let's see how we go. All right, let's get our timer and let's start at our 10 minutes. Okay. Work pen. I hope the pen works because otherwise it's gonna make this pretty difficult. Okay, so this is. Tell you right now, this is not going very well. This is, uh, well, anyway. What do you call an area where a horse can walk around pasture? If, like you're keeping a horse, I have no idea. I'm just gonna call it an area. How are we on time? Yikes, already almost three minutes. Ah! Oh no. Six minutes gone, I've got like, <clears throat> there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna get a full thing, but let's hope I get, I get a full idea anyway, right? Well, you could if you love the smell shit, okay. I don't know any kinds of horses besides Clydesdales. What are the ones where they're like gray and they're spotty? <laughs> Splotchies, we'll just call them. A beautiful splotchy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Splotchy mare. Franklin. Beautiful splotchy mare, sure. There with a boy's name. Anyway. Oh, okay. So our ten minutes is up. Obviously, that's what that beep 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 was. Um. So I don't really know what I think about this, but let's let's just take a look through it. I got just about about a page and. Oh, a page and what is that, a fifth? Maybe a fifth? So anyway, read it to you guys, let, and you can let me know what you think. Um, it's not good, but okay, so. It was never about the horse. When Aiden moved in with me, after I begged him, his only condition was that we transform the yard into an area for a horse. He'd always wanted a horse. His grandfather, a cavalryman during the First World War, had ridden all of his life. When Aiden was little, he'd go for short ride-alongs. Ever since his grandfather took a shot of lead after a, a bottle of Johnny Walker, that was it. Uh, Aiden didn't ride for 20 years. I agreed for a dog. After all, a yard is a yard. You can't have barbecues or campfires or play volleyball uh, in a horse pasture. Well, if you love the smell of shit, you could. Uh, uh, let's see. Aiden wouldn't have it, so now Franklin, a beautiful splotchy mare, splotchy, uh, grazed on the clover that freshly sprouted with a relenting winter. 
Aiden lay some five feet from where Franklin sat. Uh, Franklin sunk her teeth into the lucky leaves. He couldn't say much about Franklin now, though he never offered more than kissy noises anyway. Still, as he lay there six feet below where she now grazed, and that's where we end. Right, so, obviously it's pretty clear where I was going with that, uh, what the hell's his name, Aiden, is dead. Right, so, um, I hope I stuck to the theme well enough. Emily, thank you again for giving me the idea of horses. Now, some things to point out, right, some, some good criticism from this is that I have a real problem with writing sentences that are too long, and I don't know if you guys could notice it while I was reading it, but it really makes for sort of a, a slower read, which which is good sometimes, right? You can switch up the pace by, by chopping up the sentences, but I have so many long sentences all the time, and it's something I've always had a problem with. Um, <clears throat> you know, I write the way I speak, which is very sort of long-winded and, um, yeah, verbose. So, ver verbose, verbose, rather. Um... Other things I don't really like, there's kind of like a lot left out here, of course, it's just a very rough draft thing that was written in 10 minutes, so not much you can do there, but there is kind of like this repetition of, of vocabulary, which I'm not a big fan of, like within like a paragraph, I use the word graze twice, which, I mean, maybe it's not a big deal for some people, but I just, I, I don't like having words that close together, just when I see them on the page, they make me a little crazy, so of course there are other problems here, right, but um, for instance, there's no dialogue, but... That's not really the nature of this piece, I guess. So anyway, without going going too too far into it, I will of course write this in the description. Everything I wrote, I'll write in the description uh, of the video below. So if if you want to sort of to see it again and check it out for yourself and dissect it and tell me about what you think in the comments below, that'd be fantastic. I also might start putting. Uh, I want to do more of these sort of like writing challenge, writing experiment videos on the channel, so I'm thinking that maybe I will put these over on Wattpad so that my Wattpad account is more than just like a fertile ground for a Bulbasaur fanfiction. So on that note guys, um, please of course go over and check out Juicy Ink's channel. Uh, she doesn't really need help from me to promote her, but um, anyway, she's obviously has a lot of talent and I thought this was a really cool idea to try from her. So. Um, yeah, if you give this a go too, let me know down in the comments or, or shoot us an email at theborouyt at gmail.com um, with, with your results. If you want to share them, if you want to talk about them, if you want somebody to pick them apart, of course, we would love to do that for you. So on that note, guys, thanks as always for watching. Please be sure to check out all the other videos we have for you here in the borough and uh, go write something awesome. Maybe this is something that could be forgiven once, right? Be like, okay, well... Does the does the fact that it was a black gardener add anything to the story? Um, 